Hello and thank you to everyone who participated in the Miterful data set giveaway uh, and left really nice comments about the 10 box build that I did in conjunction with it. That really helps me out. Um, I, I know that there was a big prize in this case, uh, but those shares and, and the traffic is, is helping me get some momentum back to the channel. When I moved to Denver, I went uh, three months without posting a video, uh, and, and it seems like the growth of my channel and views and, and just the momentum of, of the channel hasn't really recovered from that. Uh, so I'm really making an effort to get some good content out and, and gonna try to get that going again. So thank you, I really appreciate it. Now, winners of the six sets have been selected. I have sent out messages to all six and heard back from five. So there's one person I'm having a little trouble getting in touch with, um, so maybe check your Facebook and your YouTube messages and see if there's a message from me. If there isn't and you haven't heard from me already, I'm sorry, you didn't win, but congratulations to the winners. So five of these are going out in the mail today. I hope if you want one, you really enjoy it. Before I send these out, if you've watched any of the review and unboxing videos on, on the set, you may have seen that there's been a little issue with packaging. Specifically, this piece that holds the chippers, these two pieces that you're meant to hold and pick up have been popping off. And I think this issue's been corrected, but I just wanted to use these six as a test case and also make sure that the winners aren't going to get sent anything with faulty packaging. So these two feel good. I'm not able to pop them off by hand. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to check the other six. That one's good. That one's good. Okay, so let's also pause here um, and address the comment of, it's a box making tool, why would you use finger joints? Okay, I get it. I get it. We used finger joints on the box for the Miterfold data set. Why would we do such a thing? Here's the thing. After the technical development, finding the right manufacturer, the licensing and operating agreements between myself and Rocco. This took a really long time and we needed to get it to the market. I mean, it had been two years and the blades didn't exist to make the boxes. We needed to make the boxes at the same time as the blades. I was in the meeting where we decided to go with the finger joints and everybody knew that we'd get a hard time about it, but that was the deal. We didn't want to delay things. Even if we'd made a set of blades to make the boxes, there still would need to be a production system and training for the manufacturer of the box. And it'd just be this whole thing to try to make the boxes with the blades. Maybe at some point in the future, but the boxes and the blade manufacturing really needed to happen at the same time to get this thing out. So that's the story. No, that one's fine. That one's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, it looks like my research uh, indicates one in six is still a problem. Yeah, and we can't be having that. So I've heard speculation that this is happening because the finish was applied first. It doesn't look like that's the case. It doesn't look like there's any finish where these two handles were. Just simply not enough glue or not enough glue pressure. Now these things have fallen out too. Get this back together. I gotta get the little pin nails to line up right. So one of the six winners gets a chipper holder glued up by me. Now, is it okay that a $350 tool comes in packaging that has a one chance in six of not being correct? No, that's not okay. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that that is okay. And correcting this really should be a very high priority. And if you've had this problem, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna tell you that it isn't a big deal just because, well, go ahead and fix and glue it up yourself. You shouldn't have to do that. But with the graveling out of the way, I can definitively say that the product itself 
The cutting tool itself is top notch. The web tool for setup makes it a lot more likely that you can get the setup right on the first time and not waste time on, on extra setups, not quite having everything perfect, so check that out. Congratulations once again to the winners. After this dries, I'll get everything packaged up and in the mail today. Thanks again for your support.